Hello, and welcome to another episode of Movie Spoiler Alerts. Today we're talking about the 2011 film, Kung Fu Panda 2, the second Kung Fu Panda film. So let's get started. This summary relies in part that you've seen the previous film. If you'd like to see a summary, check out the link below. The film opens with a scene taking place many years before the first film, with Lord Shen, the ruler of Gongmen City in ancient China, trying to harness fireworks as a weapon. Lord Shen learns from a fortune teller that a warrior of black and white will one day defeat him if he does not change his ways. In response, Lord Shen leads an army of wolves to exterminate all the pandas in the land out of fear that a panda is the foretold warrior. Back in present day, we find Po and the Furious Five are protecting the valley under the guidance of Master Shifu. While defending a village from wolves working for Shen, Po notices a symbol on the leader's armor, causing Po to have a flashback of his mother. Po asks his father, Mr. Ping, about where he came from, and Ping tells Po that he was found in a radish crate. Po wants to find out more answers, however. Shifu receives word that Lord Shen has killed a kung fu master and is plotting to conquer China, using a cannon that fires weaponized fireworks. Po and the Furious Five set out to Gongmen City to stop Shen and destroy the weapon. When they arrive, however, they are captured by Shen's wolves and are brought before Shen. The heroes, however, are able to free themselves and destroy Shen's weapon. Po is distracted again by the symbol he saw earlier in the film, which allows Shen to escape. Tigris confronts Po later about the distraction, which he explains he remembers Shen being there when he was separated from his family, and that Poe now wants answers from Shen about his past. Tigris tells Poe to stay behind for his own safety, but Poe ignores her and breaks into the factory, foiling the Furious Five's plan to destroy the factory to capture Shen. Shen tells Poe that his family abandoned him, and blasts Poe with a cannon. Poe survives and is rescued by the fortune teller from the beginning of the film, and is brought to the village where Poe was born. Poe then remembers his parents sacrificed themselves to protect Poe from Shen's army, and hid Poe in a radish crate. Poe realizes that he has been able to lead a happy life despite what happened to him, and attains inner peace. Poe returns to Gongmen City to save the captured Furious Five and other Kung Fu masters. During his fight against Shen, Poe is able to use his newfound inner peace to redirect fireworks to fire upon Shen's armada, destroying it. Poe tries to reason with Shen, but Shen attacks Poe and inadvertently has a cannon fall upon him, killing him. Having defeated Shen, Poe returns to the Valley of Peace, reunites with Mr. Ping, declaring the goose to be his father. However, the film ends showing Poe's biological father is still alive in a far-off village with other pandas, which appears to be the key plot point in the next film coming out in early 2016. So that was the spoilers for Kung Fu Panda 2. If you have another film you'd like to see me spoil, please let me know in the comments below. Check out movie spoiler alerts on our various forms of social media listed below, and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.